I got a question for you. I know you guys have probably seen other videos that they have numerous bags. You know, they've got a vehicle bag. They've got a overnight bag. They have a EDC bag. They have a 72-hour bag. They have a bug out bag. Then they have an inch bag. Why do you need all those bags? The vehicle bag, you know, I can understand. To me, a vehicle bag is the same thing as an EDC bag. You know, I've got one here in my truck. You know, medical, you know, from fire starter, um, you know, stuff like that that I carry in my truck all the time. But why do you need a get home bag? Then why do you need a 72 hour bag? Then why do you need a bug out bag? Then why do you need an inch bag? In my, my view, who's to say the, the 72 hour bag? I do not understand. I, I really don't. Because who is to say if you have to leave your home, you're going to be back in 72 hours? Uh, that mind boggles me. Whoever thought of make you a 72 hour bag and leave your home, you could be gone 72 days before you can make it back to your home. It, it, a 72 hour bag just does not make any sense to me. You know, a bug out bag is what it is. It's a bug out bag. You're gonna you're gonna have enough supplies to get in there, you're going to have food, you're going to have ways to get other food, you're going to have shelter, you're going to have um, fire starting material, you're going to have extra clothing, you're going to have water, you're going to you know, have enough if you have to leave your home, you're going to have enough supplies to make it. Say you leave your home and it takes you a week to get to your bug out location and you just have a 72 hour bag my, my outlook you're going to be kind of screwed but um you know if you guys got any suggestions about that type of planning let me know you know because i honestly do not understand like i said i carry a bag in here it's my You know, my truck bag, I EDC, or it could be considered a get-home bag, you know, because if, I, if I'm out and something happens and I can't use my vehicle, you know, I'm going to grab the bag and start busting butt home. But I've seen these videos where guys got each bag for each one, and I just cannot understand that concept. Uh, I just, I cannot understand it. I mean, I don't know if they think it's a game or if they're trying to outdo the next person. You know, people like that who thinks prepping and survival is having the latest and coolest gear and bag and, and everything like that. They think it's a game and they probably never, ever use that bag for anything you know they pack it make a video and it's stuffed in a closet somewhere but um to me like i said if i have to grab my bag and the kids has to grab their bags you know the family has to grab their bags that means we most likely are not coming home because something major has happened and we're going to have to make it somewhere else. Um, but um, it's kind of mind-blowing. Have you guys seen these videos with these guys with five or six or seven bags, different bags? How are you going to carry all those bags in a bug-out situation? <laughs> I don't know. 
you know, it, to me, those type of channels and those type of videos is a gimmick so they can sell stuff or they can you can go to their sponsors and buy stuff from their sponsors and stuff like that um, like i said me i'm in it for survival correction i want to survive but i also want to thrive as i am surviving you know i've always said i want to have enough stuff in my bug out bag if I have to go out into the woods or wherever swamp desert mountains or whatever I am not going to be in a little lean-to freezing to death I'm going to have what I can do have so I can build a hunter's cabin four walls and a roof so I can put the fire inside so I'm not worried about getting wet. I'm not worried about the wind coming in on me. I'm not worried about the rain or the snow falling on me. And again, in my bug out bag, I have a saw. I have a hammer and I have nails. So I don't have to tie and tie and tie and tie like all these other guys and girls do on these videos making shelters. You know, they waste 5,000 feet worth of rope to build a shelter where I can do a shelter and half the time it takes them doing all these fancy little knots and everything. You, honestly, to God, think you're going to remember and you're going to think about these fancy knots they're showing you. No, you're just going to throw a knot in there and go. You're not going to worry about it. And that's the same thing about bug out bags. You know, why do you have to have five or six or seven bug out bags? Like these people tell you, oh, you need this knot and you need that knot and you need this knot and you need that knot. No, you don't. A knot is a knot. You're tying it up there so you can, so it won't fall down. But some of these, um, these, um, videos, man, they, they, I don't know. They're, they irk the hell out of me. Because they want to, I guess, be famous. They don't want to help people. They want to... They read a book, then they come and they do a video and they show what they learned on the book. Like they've been so experienced. And I guarantee you, you take half of these people... That's on YouTube. Now I say three quarters of these YouTube survivalists or preppers or, or whatever. And you put them out in the woods. They're going to fail. They're going to fail miserably. Because they have, they have book knowledge. And oh, this is what the experts say to do. But they've never done it. Just like they're telling people to have a vehicle bag, an EDC bag, a get-home bag, a 72-hour bag, a bug-out bag, an inch bag. Again, why do you need all those bags? I can understand the, um, the vehicle bag. understand that. But isn't it the vehicle bag your EDC and your get-home bag? Isn't that one in the same? In my eyes, it is. In the 72-hour bag, that is a waste of time. If you're going to pack a bag, pack it a bug-out bag that you know if you grab and you have to be gone longer than 72 hours, you're going to have enough gear and supplies and food and water and clothes in that that you're going to be able to survive. Because, again, please, somebody out there, who says you're going to come home in 72 hours if you have to bug out in an SHTF situation? I never did know anything, you know, anything like that existed. You know, if you're bugging out, Something major, bad, wrong went. Oh, crap. And everything's falling apart. So, um, 
you know, that's my outlook on there. Now I'm gonna get people on here. Well, if you're if you, a tornado hits or if a um, hurricane hits or something like that, that's why they tell you have a 72 hour bag. Okay, you got that 72 hour bag and you leave your home and you come back in 72 hours and you don't have a home to go to because it's been totally destroyed. It's been totally flooded. It's been, you know, whatever. What good is that 72 hour bag? You're going to be sitting there with an empty 72 hour bag and all your crap's gone. What are you going to do? At least if you have a bug out bag with everything in it, you're going to have a little extra supplies to help you along. But uh, that's my opinion and that's my outlook on the matter. You know, I don't push my views. I love, I, 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 I honestly, I like it when people disagree with me because I've had some good debates on some of the videos. Now, granted, there's some pricks that go above and beyond, and I just block them and where they can't respond back. But um, I, I like it when people disagree with me, and we talk. We talk civil. You know, we, we have a debate. They're expressing their views. I'm expressing my views. And nine times out of the ten, we agree to disagree. And it's cool. I like that. But... If you're one of these guys that's going to get on here and call names and, and try to insult me or hurt my feelings, you're wasting your time because I'm going to insult you, I'm going to hurt your feelings, and then in turn, I'm going to block you so you can't respond back. But uh, guys, give me your comments below, tell me what you think, and everybody be safe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.